Hey guys, and Savada Krab from Krabi Airport. Today I'll be flying all the way to Bangkok on board Thai Air Asia in their Airbus A320 aircraft. So thank you guys for coming along to today's trip report and let's head right inside the terminal building as the check-in for my flight should be about to close already. Enjoy the report. Cheers. Those of you guys who want to visit the famous Ao Nang beach as I did yesterday will probably find themselves at this cozy airport. Should you be on a budget like me, there is a shuttle bus service to both Krabi Town and Ao Nang beach after every plane arrival for just a few bucks. I arrived here on a hugely delayed Thai Smile Airways flight just a few days ago and the last scheduled bus of the day even waited several hours for us, which was very convenient. Anyway, let's head right into Terminal 2, where all domestic flights are leaving from. Landside, this rather small terminal offers a few small shops and bistros and the Thai Air Asia check-in is located at counters 8, 9 and 10 today. Although Thai Air Asia can be considered a low-cost carrier, they allow both a cabin trolley as well as a backpack that must fit under the seated front in their basic fare. In Europe and North America, this would be absolutely unthinkable. Alright, the check-in process is now done. I finally received my boarding pass. I was still more or less on time, but he was already about to close the counter. However, I have to say that the check-in agent was simply fantastic as he also assigned me another seat. Normally you have to pay extra if you want to change your seat when flying with Thai Air Asia, but he was like super kind and said, yeah, no problem. I will do this for free for you. So I ended up saving some money, which is of course amazing and very friendly of him. As the boarding of my flight should be about to start, I would say that it is now time to head through the security control. The security check went pretty fast as I was literally the only passenger around and um, the staff was also pretty pretty helpful even though they were not really able to speak English. Like a few words, but it was okay, it was alright. Okay? Um, however, boarding for my flight has just started as you can already see somewhere there in the back. Um, so yeah, let's finally head inside the aircraft, inside today's Airbus A320. Really looking forward to, to board it in order to show you guys around the cabin and everything. The gate area offers several small souvenir and jewelry shops as well as lots of seating possibilities as you can see here. Furthermore, you have a decent view over some parts of the apron and the runway. And down there you can already see the bus that will take me to today's Airbus A320 aircraft. Well, finally on my way to the bus. Um, I do hope that I will have some nice views on the aircraft once we arrive there. Let's see. Finally made it to today's Airbus A320. Let's head inside. Alright, I finally settled in at my new seat, 28 box, and the entire row seems to be empty so far, so good news for me for filming purposes. However, let's take first quick look around my seat. First things first, the leg room is tiny and almost non-existent. For reference, I am 1.8 meters tall. Anyway, in the seat pocket at front you can find the safety card of today's Airbus A320, which we will be checking out later. Furthermore, the seat features a solid foldable table and also a nice Thai Air Asia branding, which I always like to see. The view outside from my seat 28F is good and finally here is a quick look through the cabin. Mm -hmm. 
All right, the fast and simple sign was switched on by the cockpit. Um, the cabin crew went through the cabin in order to go for their final cabin checks. And we are now about to line up the runway. So let's double check that my seatbelt is securely fastened and fly to Bangkok. My pre-ordered Pad Thai meal um, just arrived, but certainly not in the way that I was expecting it to be delivered. Currently, Thailand's aviation authority is not allowing any food or drinks on domestic flights within Thailand. Um, however, I did not know this uh, when I um, pre-ordered the meal, and it turned out now that they loaded the meal on board and they gave it to me, but they stowed it in the overhead compartment and said that I can eat it after the flight, which is of course not really satisfying for me. And I'm, I'm not quite sure yet how I should think about this, if I should be surprised in a positive way or if I should just be pissed. Making a long story short, um, there was no information about this in any way by Thai Air Asia. And um, yeah, I can now only show you the meal afterwards once we are on ground at the airport of Bangkok again. Sorry for that. Let's take a closer look at today's seat and the features coming with it in order to use the time which I initially calculated for a food review at least somewhat effectively. So firstly you can find a sick bag as well as a relatively large safety card of today's Airbus A320 in the seat pocket in front. The seat itself comes with a comfortable leather cover. The backrest, however, feels a bit too narrow for my back. Furthermore, the seat is missing a headrest, which is acceptable for me on such a short flight, and as expected, there is also no power outlet underneath the seat. The overhead compartments are completely printed with advertisements for Thai Air Asia's so called Satan onboard menu. That kind of reminds me on Ryanair and Wizz Air, but fair enough. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is your Dutch speaking. On behalf of Thai Airways, we have been talking from the bus and to you, the name of our squadron. In the national airport, we expect to send the next two months. We expect our arrivals from 10 minutes to 3 p.m. 10 minutes to 3 p.m. Whether we call this one or we call this credit card and this card, it will be in place. I hope you. Hello from the rear laboratory of today's Airbus A320 aircraft. Um, how is this flight so far? Honestly, it was really pleasant until the meal incident happened, like that it was not properly delivered to me without any further notice by Thai Air Asia. Um, however, cabin crew is doing a fantastic job. Um, they are really kind, really friendly, um, have a nice attitude, I have to say. and. Um, where the cabin interior is kind of outdated and also the seat pitch is really bad as you've already seen but I completely expected this and as I only paid like 15 bucks or something for this flight I don't expect anything more but anyway let's take a quick look through the laboratory itself
well, we have just been starting with our descent into the Bangkok metropolitan area. Um, so yeah, cabin is already secured for landing by the cabin crew. Um, and now it's just from time for me to hope to get a few good views on uh, Thailand's beautiful landscape during the approach. Let's find out if this may happen. Well, we just arrived on our final parking position somewhere on the apron. Um, however, the weather situation became so bad that they can't offload the um, check baggage, which is not so unfortunate for me as I don't have any check bags um, on today's flight. However, this will now be transferred with a big delay of like half an hour or something to the airport. All right, guys, I'm finally off the aircraft. Um, I collected my pre-ordered meal during this implication. Um, I can only repeat that the cabin crew and the entire Thai Air Asia staff is uh, doing a great job. They were really professional and also kind. They even excused themselves, like in the name of the company, um, for yeah, the situation about the meal service. But anyway, here is my pre-ordered meal. So let's take it outside. It's even still slightly warm and here is the pre-ordered bubble tea that definitely looks kind of interesting um, also comes with a cup so firstly here is the uh, pre-ordered bubble tea that I can now drink with one and a half hours delay um, honestly smells kind of weird but anyway let's give it a try well it's better as expected but still um, not good, being honest, not really. And most importantly, here is the shrimp pad thai, uh, which is probably hidden underneath the omelette. So let's give it a try as well. Um, honestly, it also smells kind of weird, but well, let's just hope for the best. Mm. It's very spicy, but it's also not too bad in terms of taste. Finally, I would just like to add that um, two of these small bottles of water um, were coming with my meal as well. So one for the boba tea and one for the um, main course for the pad thai. And as this topic should now be clarified, we can finally go for the most important question. How was today's flight? Firstly, all the Thai Air Asia stuff I interacted with today did a fantastic job in contrast to the company itself. When I pre-order a meal, I simply expect to be able to eat it above the clouds and not in the terminal building of the destination airport. You know, if Tiger Asia would have been contacting me with the issue and the option to cancel the meal order, everything would have been fine. The rest of the flight, however, was fine and in the end you pretty much get what you pay for when flying Thai Air Asia. The only thing that was above average today was the charming Thai Air Asia crew. So finally, I would like to thank you for watching today's video until the end. Feel free to leave a like to support me and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Stay safe and cheers!